What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Cart Life TV where we do fun and dumb stuff with golf carts. This is part two of our custom winch bumper install. We got this thing mounted. We're about to finish up the job. But before we do, I just want to remind you to subscribe to Cart Life TV and make sure you check out lowspeedliving.com to support the channel. Website's right here and let's get to it. I'm Mike, I'm Joe, and this is Cart Life TV. What's up guys, day two of the custom winch bumper installation and we are here at the shop. Joe's back here behind me getting prepped because it is time to install the custom bumper. And we're looking forward to it. You excited, buddy? You got gap there? Oh. All right, we got the bumper mounted and it looks really, really sick. This thing is cool. Definitely one of a kind and uh, super excited to have it on the cart right now. But uh, since the bumper's mounted, it's time to put the winch on. We're gonna get that, uh, we're gonna get that mounted now and I guess we'll go from there. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. The winch is a simple install. The winch plate mounts to the bumper. It's pre-drilled, um, which is great. It mounts with two bolts through the winch plate and then through the bumper. Once the winch is mounted, then we got to wire it up and give it power. And we're going to re-spool it with some synthetic line that we got at the store today. All right guys, so we're ready to spool the synthetic line on. Uh, we got 50 feet of it here. I think it should be uh, perfect for this 2,500 pound winch. I did put a mark on it here. Kind of gives us a little warning when we have about, what, 24 inches left on spool. Um, hopefully we never have to use a 50 foot pull, but um, we have it just in case we need it. All right, so we got the winch mounted. We got the uh, new synthetic synthetic line on there and it looks it looks awesome. I think we did a good job today. What do you think? I think it looks awesome. I think Definitely. so too. Yep. Temporarily wired it. We removed the wire and um, tomorrow we're going to finalize the install. Get the, get the winch all wired up. All right. So the first thing we're going to do today is make new leads for the winch wires. We have those right here. Um, they get bolted to the actual winch. They are too short for us because we do want to mount this in the glove box. So we're going to uh, cut these extend them and then hook them up to the winch and run the rest of the uh, rest of the lead back to the battery. We do have this circuit breaker over here that we also have to address. Probably gonna have to cut, or maybe not cut, but extend at least one of those ends also to, uh, to the battery along with the negative cable. Um, the winch takes a lot of power. It actually has a 50 amp breaker um, fuse in it. So we wanna make sure that we get a uh, good connection. We're gonna solder them. And we are gonna use number six braided, uh, braided electrical wire. That's it, should be pretty straightforward, just a lot of work. So let's get to it. All right. All right, we got some new leads made. We're going to connect these to the winch now and then run them to where we want them to be. Then remove them, heat shrink this, um, so we know that they're cut to the right length. leads made for the winch, uh, positive and negative. Um, put them on with some new connectors here. Some solder, some heat shrink, we've got a real solid connection. Now we are going to do this end and solder them together to the winch box. So now we have a nice, uh, nice long lead. 
to work with. Go. All right, struggle bus. We are uh, we are on the struggle bus today, but um, good news is we got the uh, we got the control box mounted in the in the glove box of the uh, of the golf cart. A um, couple screws, no problem. Just took both of us to do it, so we couldn't film us actually doing it. But here, let's check it out. I'll show you what we did here. We um, we got all our connections made at the battery. So the uh, cable is run to the control box in the glove compartment. We have our leads here that run to the winch. These don't get activated unless the controller is in, so that's good. So we don't have to worry about arcing anything. Um, before we connect the uh, power to the winch, we are going to install this awesome little light bar. We're gonna put it right here. We've got some mounting points there. Um, and uh, we're gonna run the wire up at the same time with this. Keep it all nice and uh, nice and tight and bundled in a piece of wire loop. All right, so we're gonna mount the light bar now on the winch bumper. There's a mounting location on the bottom there. To mount this thing, we had to create a special bracket for it. Um, the light bar fit perfect, and we wanted to definitely use this one. Um, so we did have to make a bracket for it. It's just a piece of aluminum strip, something that we used on the trailer. And, had a piece of scrap laying around. We just drilled out some holes on it. We're gonna mount this with some stainless steel bolts. And then we're gonna mount the light bar to the tabs here on the end. This thing's all ready to go. So we're gonna mount this up now and then wire this light bar up. Let's go. All right. All right, so we got our wires run. They're all in the loom. Everything runs to the uh, controller, and this is for the little light bar. Something real cool. We have the, uh, I think it's the Nokin's um, headlight kit on this, and it's really, it's a really cool switch um, on the uh, on the steering column here. It actually gives you fog lights for the front and front and rear fog lights, and down here, it gives you uh, pre-wired leads with the ground and it's labeled front fog lights. So we put these quick connectors on. All we have to do to wire our fog lights up to that switch, that new fog light light bar we put on, is uh, plug in the power. Like that. And the ground. Like that. All right, so this light bar is installed. The winch is installed. We're gonna test the winch in another video. But um, I do want to show you guys this light bar because it's really cool. We found it on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description for you. But um, it's a three color light bar. So when you turn it on and off and you cycle it, it actually changes colors. Check this out.
It's like an amber and white, like a soft white. And then we got the hyper white LED. So you got the amber, we got the soft white, and then you get the, uh, the HID white, the super bright LED light. So it's really cool. And this thing was, I don't know, $30 or so on Amazon. Came with some nice stainless steel hardware. We didn't have to buy screws for it. And um, a nice little bracket. A little customizing on the bracket. And uh, we got a good install. Super happy with it. Guys, that's a wrap for the Winch Bumper install. This thing came out awesome. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to Cartlight TV. If you want to support the channel, mostpeopleliving.com. The link's right here. That's it. We got a hurricane coming, so we're going to get out of here. Peace, peace out.